On to other news. Make that weather news. Kenyans are staring at a sixth consecutive failed rains season. A report by the meteorological, meteorological scientists indicates an increased likelihood of warmer than normal temperatures in the coming months with reduced amount of rainfall expected during the March to May season. And as our very own Emily Jabet reports, maize farmers that require more rainfall have been urged to seek advice from agricultural extension officers before planting. The prolonged drought that has left more than 5 million Kenyans in need of food assistance will not end any time soon. The weatherman predicts that the long-awaited March to May rainy season is likely to disappoint maize farmers who require up to 300 millimeters of rainfall. We have uh, very low chances that we are getting more than 400 millimeters, which is required by most of the crops. Like maize, we require around 300 millimeters to go throughout the season. January, February are not our uh, rainfall seasons. And if we go to this uh, drier season again, we're looking at uh, high cases of food insecurity. According to the meteorological scientists, maize farmers should get advice from agricultural extension officers from their region on what to plant to avoid losses. We are looking at this uh, cumulative impact of dry season. Even if we get these uh, little rains in the coming season, how far are we going to be outside the drought? Environment, Climate Change and Forestry Cabinet Secretary Soipan Tuya, who attended the official opening of the IGAD Forum on Climate Change Outlook, says that the Kenya Meteorological Department is acquiring new technology that will allow early warning. We are working to revamp uh, the Meteorological Department. We have the support of the government of uh, Finland uh, to enhance the technology and capacity of our Meteorological Department to be able to relay um, early warning information uh, that can be in step with the highly unpredictable uh, weather and climate trends that we are witnessing because of uh, climate change. As the dry weather continues to persist in the country, forest fires have been on the rise in different parts of the country. At the Abadea National Park, much of the fire has been contained, with officers carrying out a mopping exercise to put out any remaining fires that have left over 40,000 acres in ashes. Whenever you start fire, you are affecting millions and millions of Kenyans. Anybody who is using electricity, anybody who is living in Nairobi, and many other satellite towns and county headquarters as villages, cities, or around this, uh, the central region. At the Mao Forest, fire has raised over a thousand acres of forest land, according to Daniel Simatwa, the Narrow County Forest Conservator. Over 100 officers have been deployed to contain the fire. Residents living near any government forest have been warned against starting fires that stern warn that stern action will be taken. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV.